Welcome back to the Black Human Infrastructure channel. Please like, share, and subscribe, and help us so we can grow in our community. Donald Glover and Janine Neighbors, I hope Beyonce sue you both for that poorly written emissary of racial degradation and harmful attacks on her likeness, her artistry, her fan base, and her money. I hope her fan base sue you for the deranged, inaccurate, and disturbing portrayal of them. Swarm is a series that follows Andrea, a black serial killer, and a deranged swarm, aka beehive, that literally kills anyone who hates or say anything bad about Nigel and for tickets to go see her in concert. I cannot see how Beyonce will see this as anything less than a diss. And Donald Glover, how long have you been hating and envious of this woman? You wrote an entire series about a fictitious fan who did some graphic, disturbing, out of the norm acts of sick, inhumane killing at the expense of a black woman that you all market and unleashed on us for no other reason at all, but as you put it, to get an uncomfortable response. And of course, Hollywood gave you all the green light and funding to introduce a black female serial killer. And as you all write at the beginning of every episode, you all did this intentionally. The entire series was trash, disturbing, and a psychological trip the black community did not need. And shame on hater Billie Eilish and other artists who hopped their ass on this smear hit job on Beyonce. Portraying black women as menacing and twisted. Shame on Donnie Glover, Janine Neighbors, and Malia Obama who shucked and jived their sorry behind and for their eagerness to contribute to the warfare on black people, especially black women. And there's an extra layer of damage because it's black people doing this to black people for the entertainment and continued hatred and truthful representation of the black woman at the hand of Hollywood black people who sold their souls just to get on. Swarm was disturbing harmful and just mean and unnecessary. Donald Glover and Janine Neighbors should be ashamed of themselves for this nonsense. And once again, using black women as their punching bag for profit. I keep saying that because it hurts, it's hurtful and alarming that nobody is protecting us, not even us protecting us. 74% of murderers were from the United States, where 85% were male, 8% were female. And the sex were undetermined in cases in which the offenders were still at large. In addition, 82% of American serial killers were white, 15% were black, 2.5% were Hispanic. The term serial killing means a series of three or more killing. While each of these types and their crimes have distinguishing characteristics, a general profile of serial killers indicates they are generally white male from 25 to 35 year old. The message they're sending in Swarm is so dangerous and harmful Spoiler alert, Andrea Green is not even based off of a real person. So again, Donald Glover and Janine Neighbor went out of their way to sway society's perception and, deception and decision against a black artist. And it's especially damning because Beyonce is on tour and they premiered this garbage over the weekend and I don't see how this series will not affect her profit margin. And shame on Malia Obama for being a staff writer on all seven episodes. 
And Chloe Bailey, please just go be the hoe you truly want to be. You lowered what was left of your standard to be plowed out from behind naked because you have range, right? The female serial killer, she is probably in her 20s or 30s, likely middle class, a Christian, displayed at least average intelligence, and has average or above average attractiveness. She is probably employed legally, perhaps in healthcare or a related field. In fact, we found that 39% of female serial killers were nurses or healthcare workers. I'm scared to go to the doctor. Dre's character was none of those descriptions. Untalented Donald Glover has always exploited the black community and always give his money back to Massa. I expected better from Janine, but she too is a Hollywood machine that all her money goes back to Massa too. Why are these people like this? Why do they not care about black people and especially black women? And they will be first in line with a microphone screaming Black Lives Matter when it really don't matter to them. As long as money coming in, they are good with whatever is afflicting the black community because they are already sold out and getting paid to speed up the genocide of their own community. The warfare and attack on the black woman's image and identity is a 24 hour, three, six to five, seven days a week machine. Black women do not even register high enough on the serial killer radar. So why conjured up this character and marketing it, it to younger audience? Why are they marketing it to a younger audience? This is the new agenda Hollyweird is using to program our youth. Wake up black people and protest with your dollars. We do not have to allow anyone, especially other blacks, to exploit us for profit. This was not art or method acting. This was a hit job. And I hope, I hope they don't even break even on this garbage of atrocity against their own race for profit. Shame on all involved. There was no need to make this garbage. It, it really wasn't. We have to do better. Black people, we have to do better. We have to treat each other better. We have to expect better, especially from people with a platform and influence. The minute these people get put on, this is what they do. So then it takes little people like myself trying to stand in the gap screaming as loud as possible, wake up black people, we do not have to accept this. I hope we're listening.